kids, are you ready to learn with Miss K? Today we are going to have some fun activities based from some of the books that we have just read. So we're going to have some activities for the books of Eric Carl and Bill Martin Jr. Are you ready? Miss K is so excited, so come on and join me! Our first activity is based from the book Chica Chica Boom Boom by Bill Martin Jr. So we are going to complete the picture here by putting the letters to complete our alphabets. Are you ready? Let's go! This is letter A. A. Let's put A here. A. B. C. Where is letter C? C. D. D. E. E. Do you know where letter E is here? E. F. G. G. H. H. I. I. J. J. K. K. L. L. M. M. N. N. O. O. P. P. Q. Q. R. R. S. S. T. T. U. U. We're about to complete the picture. V. V. W. W. X. X. Y. Y. And last letter of the alphabet is Z. Do you know where the Z is? There it is. Z. Now our alphabet picture is complete. Now let's move on to our next activity. Let's count and match. This is based from the book 123 to the Zoo, a counting book by Eric Carl. I have pictures here of different animals, so what we are going to do is match the number of animals with the right number here. Okay, before we do that, let's see if you know how to count. Let's count these numbers. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now, let's match the animals with the right number. Let's start with this. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. There are five bears here. Which number is number five? Yes, this is number five. Next picture. Let's count the crocodiles. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many crocodiles? Six. Where is number six? This is number six. Let's put the picture here. Six. Let's count how many lions we have here. One, two, three, four. How many? Four. Where is number four? Number four is right here. Next, elephant. How many elephants do we have here? Let's count. One. There is only one elephant. Where is number one? Number one is here. We'll put the elephant there. Are you ready to count the seals? Let's count. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven seals. Where is number seven? Seven. Yes. Let's count the monkeys this time. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight monkeys. Do you know where number eight is? Number eight is here. Let's put it here. We're about to complete our train picture. Let's count the snakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many snakes? Nine snakes. Where is number nine? This is number nine. Giraffe. Let's count the giraffes. One, two, three. Three giraffes. Where is number three? Number three. Yay. Only have two pictures left. Let's count the birds here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. How many birds? Ten birds. Which one is number ten? Is this number ten? No. This is number ten. And finally, we have hippopotamus. Let's count the hippopotamus. One, two. There are two hippopotamus. Which one is number two? Number two. Wow, our train number is complete now with the animals. Thank you so much for helping me count. Now let's move on to our next activity. Our next activity is about colors. And this is based from the book Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? Okay, so we have the pictures of animals here mentioned in the story Brown Bear, Brown Bear. Before we start our activity, let's see if you know the names of the colors, okay? This is brown, black, red, orange, blue, green, white, purple, yellow. Now let's match the animals with the right color. This is... Brown bear, where is the color brown? Brown. Goldfish, color of the goldfish is orange. Where is orange? Orange is here. How about the color of the black sheep? Where is black? Black. What is the color of the duck? It's yellow. Where is the color yellow? Yellow. This is a red bird. Where is color red? Red. You're right. This is a picture of a white dog. A white dog. Where is the color white? White is here. Next one is a green frog. A green frog. Where is the color green? Green is here. And we only have two colors left. Let's continue. This is a purple cat. Where is the color purple? Is this purple? No. Is this purple? Yes. This is purple. And our last color is blue. Blue horse. Blue horse. And our picture is complete. Now we can move on to our next activity. Oh, it's another counting game. We're going to count and pack. And this is based from the story 10 Little Rubber Ducks. Miss K has pictures of the boxes here where the rubber ducks are. What we are going to do is put the right number of ducks with the numbers here, okay? 
This is a little bit challenging compared to the other one because all the numbers are mixed up. Don't worry, Miss Kate will help you. Okay, are you ready? Let's start with this one. Let's count how many rubber ducks there are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six rubber ducks. Where is number six? Six is here. Let's put it there. How many rubber ducks do we have here? There is only one rubber duck. Where is number one? One. How many rubber ducks? One, two, three, four. Where is number four? Number four. Ooh, there are so many rubber ducks here. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine rubber ducks. Where is number nine? Number nine is right here. How many rubber ducks are here? One, two. Where is number two? Number two. Two. Let's continue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven rubber ducks. Where is number seven? Number seven. Oh, we're about to finish. So many rubber ducks here. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where is number ten? Number ten. One, two, three, four, five. Where is number five? Number five. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where is number eight? Is this number eight? No. Is this number eight? Yes. This is number eight. We only have one box left and that box is number three. Let's see if the rubber ducks are three. One, two, three. Yes. Our ship is complete now with all the boxes and the right number of ducks in the boxes. Thank you for helping Miss Kay in this activity. Now we can move on to our next fun activity. Oh, look, our next activity is about animals. So we're going to match the sounds. In case you don't know the story of the polar bear, polar bear, don't forget to ask your grown-ups help, your parents help, to check all our videos, okay? I have the pictures of the animals here based from the book, Polar Bear, Polar Bear, what do you hear? We are going to match the animal with the right sound and to make it easier for you, let's follow the outline or shadows, okay? Who makes a growling sound? What animal makes a growling sound? It's a... A polar bear, yes! The polar bear makes a growling sound. How about this animal? Do you know what this animal is? It's a leopard. Do you know the sound that the leopard makes? The leopard makes a... Let's try it. Is it hissing? No. Is it snorting? No. Is it snarling? Yes. The leopard makes a snarling sound. How about the elephant? What is the sound of the elephant? The elephant makes a... Bellowing? No. Fluting? No. Trumpeting? Yes. The elephant makes a trumpeting sound. How about these kids? Who makes a hissing sound? Let's try. The hippopotamus. Does the hippopotamus make a hissing sound? No. The hippopotamus makes a snorting sound. Who makes a hissing sound? Let's try the boa constrictor. Let's see. Ooh, the boa constrictor makes a hissing sound. What sound does a lion make? Does it make a fluting sound? No. Does it make a yelping sound? No. 
Does it make a roaring sound? Yes, the lion makes a roaring sound. How about the flamingo? The flamingo makes a... Let's try this. It's right, it's a fluting sound. How about the walrus? The walrus makes a braying sound. No. Bellowing sound. Yes, the walrus makes a bellowing sound. Zebra. The zebra makes a braying sound. A braying sound. And last one is the peacock. The peacock makes a yelping sound. Yay, our picture is complete now. Our next activity is based from the book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar, and we are going to learn about days of the week. Do you still remember the food that the caterpillar ate in our story? Don't worry, Miss K will help you. So we have pictures here of all the food that the caterpillar ate. So we are going to match them with the right day, okay? The Very Hungry Caterpillar. So on Monday, the caterpillar ate through... What did the caterpillar eat on Monday? The caterpillar ate through one apple. So let's put apple here for Monday. On Tuesday, the caterpillar ate through two pears. Where is the picture of the two pears? Two pears. This is for Tuesday. On Wednesday, the caterpillar ate through three plums. Where is the picture of the three plums? Three plums for Wednesday. On Thursday, the caterpillar ate through four strawberries. Where is the picture of the four strawberries? Four strawberries! The caterpillar ate this on Thursday. On Friday, the caterpillar ate through five oranges. Where is the picture of the five oranges? This is the picture of the five oranges and the caterpillar ate it on Friday. Friday. We only have two pictures left. What did the caterpillar eat on Saturday? From what I remember, the caterpillar ate a lot of food. Which picture has a lot of food? This picture, right? Let's see all the food that the caterpillar ate on Saturday. We have chocolate cake, ice cream cone, pickle, Swiss cheese, salami, lollipop, one slice of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. So let's put it on Saturday. And finally, on Sunday, the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Days of the week. Our next activity is about animals again, and this is based from the book From Head to Toe. We are going to match the animals again, so Miss K will say the action, mention in the story, and to make it easier for you, we have some outlines that you could use as clues. Okay, are you ready? I can turn my head like a... What do you think is this animal? It's a... Penguin. Turn your head like a penguin. Let's put the penguin there. Next. I can bend my neck like a... What do you think is this animal? This is a... Giraffe. Bend your neck like a giraffe. I can raise my shoulders like a... Hmm. What animal is that? I can raise my shoulders like a buffalo. Buffalo. I can wave my arms like a. Don't forget to look at our pictures here so you could easily answer the question. I can wave my arms like a monkey. Monkey. I can clap my hands like a... What animal is this? 
like a seal. Seal. I can thump my chest like a gorilla. Gorilla. I can arch my back like a what do you think is this animal? It's a cat. Where is the picture of the cat? This is a cat. Hi cat. We only have four animals left. I can wriggle my hips like a crocodile. I can bend my knees like a like a what? A camel. I can kick my legs like a donkey. Donkey. And last one, I can stomp my foot like an What is this? Elephant. Wow, very good kids. You did an amazing job and thank you for helping Miss K complete this activity. Our next activity is based from the story of the very lonely firefly. Our next activity is about finishing the pattern. Miss K has pictures here and all we have to do is complete our pattern, okay? If you don't know how to do this, Miss K will help you. So we have firefly, firefly, flashlight, flashlight, firefly. What is the next picture? Is it light bulb? No. Is it firefly? Yes, firefly. Let's put it there. Let's go to the next pattern. Light bulb, light bulb, lantern, lantern, light bulb. What is the next picture? Is it candle? No. Is it fireworks? No. Is it light bulb? Yes, light bulb. The next pattern. Candle. Candle. Car. Car. Candle. What is the next picture? Is it candle or fireworks? Candle. And the last one. Fireworks, fireworks, eyes of an owl, eyes of an owl, fireworks. And what would be the next picture? It's fireworks. Very good kids. That's so easy for you, huh? Thank you for helping Miss K in this activity. Now let's go to the next one. This activity is about insects and the pictures of the insects are not complete. We need to find the other half of the pictures. Where are the other halves? Oh, they're right here, okay? So this one is based from the story of the very quiet cricket. What we are going to do here is just to complete the picture with the right part. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. Let's find the other half of this. Is this a cricket? No. Is this a bumblebee? No. Is this a dragonfly? Wow, yes, it's a dragonfly. Let's put it there. Next, let's find the other half of this picture. Is it a cicada? No. Is it a luna moth? No. Is it a praying mantis? Yes, it's a praying mantis. What do you think is this one? Is it a luna moth? No. Is it a locust? It looks like it's a locust. Locust. The next one is a... Let's try the... Cic cic oh, yes. It's a cicada. How about this? What do you think is this? Is it Luna Moth? No. Is it a worm? No. Is it a spittle bug? Yes, it's a spittle bug. This is the other half of the 
Let's try the mosquito. Oh, yes, it's a mosquito. This looks easy. This one is a... Is it Luna Moth? No. Is it a worm? Yes, it's a worm. And this one is a... Let's try the cricket. Oh, looks like it's the other half of the cricket. So we have the cricket here. We only have two insects left. What do you think is this? Is it a Luna Moth? No. Is it a bumblebee? It's a bumblebee. And the last picture is a... Luna Moth. A Luna Moth. A Luna Moth. So we have Cricket, Locust, Praying Mantis, Spittlebug, Cicada, Bumblebee, Dragonfly, Mosquito, Luna Moth, and Worm. Our last activity is based from the book The Grouchy Ladybug. We have the names of the animals and insects and birds mentioned in our story. And all we have to do is to match the picture with the word, okay? So Miss K will put the pictures on the side so we could use them later. Our pictures are here now. Miss K will read the words to you and then find the picture that will match the right word, okay? Let's start with this big one. It's a ladybug. Ladybug. Can you tell me which one is the picture of the ladybug? This is a ladybug. Let's put the ladybug there. How about the firefly? Where is the picture of the firefly? This is the firefly. Firefly. Aphid. Aphid. Which is the picture of the aphid? This is the aphid. Aphid. Yellow jacket. Yellow jacket. This is the picture of the yellow jacket. Stag beetle. Stag beetle. Do you know where the stag beetle is? Stag beetle. How about the praying mantis? Praying mantis. Is this a praying mantis? No. Is this a praying mantis? Yes. This is a praying mantis. Sparrow. Sparrow. Where is the picture of the sparrow? This is the picture of the sparrow. Sparrow. Lobster. Lobster. Where is the picture of the lobster? This is the picture of the lobster. Lobster. Skunk. Skunk. Yes, this is the skunk. Skunk. Boa constrictor. Boa constrictor. This is a boa constrictor. We only have five pictures left. Hyena. 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 Where is hyena? Hyena. Gorilla. Gorilla. Is this a gorilla? No, this is not a gorilla. This is an... Elephant. Do you know where the word elephant is? Elephant. That's elephant. Let's put elephant there. Where is the gorilla? This is the gorilla. Rhinoceros. Rhinoceros. Where is the picture of the rhinoceros? This is the picture of the rhinoceros. Can you guess this last animal? This is a whale. Whale. Let's put the whale here. Our picture chart is complete now. Thank you so much for helping Miss K match the picture to the right word. And we have completed all the activities. 
Thank you so much for watching, kids! Don't forget to ask your parents and grown-ups to subscribe to our channel so you could learn more with Miss K. But for now, Miss K has to say bye! Bye, kids! See you again next time! Bye!